Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you, and it's really simple, how to start a script when your Linux machine boots up. And you can, you know, it can be an SH script, it can be a bash script, it can be a Python script. And you can even run your Python scripts quietly, silently in the background without the without user interaction, without, you know, just completely hidden, without even compiling your Python script. And we do that by just just rename it or save it with the extension PYW and that'll make it quiet. And make sure and here's an example right here we have uh, I just echoed out the this file. The path is slash etc slash rc dot local and by default it even says so right here the script does nothing. You just append on to the end of it here and put no hup and then the path to your file. Uh, let's see, hi. Dot pyw, and then add an ampersand at the end. And um, a good way to test this to see if it works is uh, here in my sample file. I have it plug this text into a file on the on the desktop, and it says test to show application has been executed at system launch, and it just puts that on the desktop. And of course, we can go open that file, and we can see <laughs> every time the system boots, it's been 25 times it adds it that line to the file. So uh, we know that works, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, cat slash etc slash rc dot local. Now this goes to illustrate that you know, a lot of people are under the mis misconception that Linux is more secure. And Linux is only more secure in the sense that it's less targeted. It's not more secure in the sense that it's just more secure. It's actually, and since Linux comes with lots of pen testing tools installed, and we can just plug commands right into the terminal and install things, and most of the time while they're already there, it's actually even more vulnerable, I would say. It just it makes it that much more convenient for an attacker. So, um, you know, if you're a system administrator on a Unix Linux system, you want to regularly check this file because it, you know somebody's going to add this a malicious software to start with your computer. It's, chances are it's going to be in here. Now there's one other method to call the well. There's more than one, but there's another method called the cron tab, and we'll go into that in another demonstration. But um, I think that pretty much covers it. Cat slash etc slash rc dot local to uh, Echo out that file. Uh, rename your Python file to pyw. Pyw, and there you go. You can now execute Python scripts and Bash scripts, shell scripts, when your system starts. Piece of cake. Anyway, until next time, I'm Scott with another tutorial, and I hope you enjoy these. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that, please let me know below in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you really enjoy these videos, please help me out, support me. Please subscribe. Thank you.